press OK, wait for it to update the system. Now right click FAT32, press Format, make sure File System FAT32 is collect, uh, selected and change the cluster size to 32 and then press OK. Press Apply again, press Yes. Now that that's done you're ready to put an Android build onto your SD card. So open up My Computer, open up Removable Disk and then download um, an SD build of your choice. Uh, the thing you will have to know is that it'll have to have an edited root file system image and an edited startup text. So the safest thing uh, to do would be to get one that's already edited uh, or download the one that will be in the description. Um, I'll leave that in the description. Uh, this is a build that's tested and works and um, everything will already be in the file for you. So once you've downloaded the build in the description, what you have to do is go into SD Magloader and you have to change this root fs.image um, and take out SD Magloader. So take out this end bit here and press yes. So get both of these copy them into the back into the Android folder and overwrite the previous ones so copy and replace copy and replace now that that's done you can copy the files over to your SD card so do that now once that's copied over you're going to need to make sure that they're in a folder called Android so create a new folder name it Android and drag all of the files into the Android folder. Right now we're on the final step so you need to download Minitool Partition Magic uh, the link will be in the description so I'll run the setup for you so keep going through the setup uh, what this will do is it will be setting your Windows Phone 7 partition as primary so once it's installed go ahead and open it up and make sure your SD card's still in right now you'll see that you've got your disk 3 here which uh, should be your SD card you've got your FAT32 and your other which is uh, your unformatted partition so right click other hover over modify set partition as primary press apply press yes, wait for it to do its thing and once this is done you can take your SD card out and put it back into your phone and uh, boot into Android so I'm going to speed this bit up and then go onto the phone side so you can see Android working on my phone right I'm back at the phone side now and I'm going to show you my HTC HD2 booting into Windows Phone 7 and then I'm going to show you it booting into Android <coughs> so I'm turning the device on now Here we go, I'm at the main menu now, the uh, the start screen and what I'm going to do now is turn the device off and then I'm going to boot right back into Magloader and boot from SD. I'm at the Magloader screen now, so go down to the second option and which is boot ADSD and press the call button right now that you're in the Magloader menu you need to go all the way down to option 10 which is services so go to option 10 and press the call button now you'll be in the services menu and you need to select option 1 which is boot settings now you need to select option 3 in the auto boot and press the call button again and you'll be on the top option which is like uh, two brackets and a dot in the middle and you're going to need to press the volume down button to select Android which will be the bottom option then just press call again right, once this is done you can go down to option 2 from the main Magloda menu which is boot ADSD and just press call again and it should just boot into Android
And here we are um, in an SD build of Android, uh, running on my HD CHD2. Um, <clears throat> if you've got any questions, um, I'd suggest that you leave them in the forum thread on XDA. I'll leave a link in the description for that because the people on there um, are more likely to know about fixes and uh, faults and stuff in the builds and the uh, the things that you have to do to get this working. So leave uh, your questions and stuff in there if you like this video subscribe and um, like it um, if you've got any requests as well about any other videos or tutorials I can do about anything then just uh, message me and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video